hello guys you're welcome once again to yet again another video and in the last video we succeeded in being able to create the user login and the user registration endpoint and in this video we're going to look at um, creating the admin login and the admin endpoint registration all right so what we are going to do first of all is that we are going straight into our admin controller and in our admin controller we are going to do a couple of things uh the first thing we're going to do is going to come from our user controller so i'm going to come over here and we're going to be doing a couple of copy and paste here so i'm going to copy up to here and i'm going to head back into our admin controller and i'm going to paste that in here and our model is not going to be user of course our model is going to be admin right here so i'm going to change this guy to admin which is our model we're going to make use of utility service too and we're going to change our request to uh, admin register request and admin login request and we're going to use the auth for Kate. okay so uh, the next thing we also want to do is that we are going to create our constructor here so i'm going to say public function construct and we're going to do a couple of things within our constructor just like we did in our user controller here uh, we're going to have our middleware we're going to have our model and we're going to have our utility service so forgive me i'm kind of a lazy programmer so i'm going to copy this and get in here and i'm also going to paste this in here and i'm going to change this to admin and i'm going to let this be utility service so for our constructor we are also going to use the same thing here and i'm going to paste that in here so our middleware here is not going to be auth user our middleware is going to be auth admin and the reason for that is because if i get into a uh, config slash auth uh, the php here you can see our provider here is admin and our provider here is user and you can see also that our user is targeting user model admin is targeting admin model so i'm going to change this to admin and of course we are uh, not going to be protecting our login and our register uh, routes okay so now that we have this um, i'm also going to go into our user controller and um, i'm going to copy these two functions which is responsible for login and register and uh, i'm going to get in here and we're going to paste that in here so basically we have our register function which basically gets the password our request password it hashes it then it kind of creates a new user so we're going to create instead of this being user our instance is going to be admin and utility service remains utility service which helps us in um, certain things one of which is to hash our passwords and um, we are going to have admin here say admin creates user and we're going to have a success message of registration completed successfully and uh, for our login we're also going to have the same thing both here right here our auth card is not going to be user because our auth here is admin our auth middleware is admin so we're going to change this from user to admin right so this is going to be admin uh if the username and password is not correct we're going to say invalid username and password and we are also going to respond with a token so i'm going to also create our request here so user register request user login request we in our request folder and um, i'm going to call this um, i'm going to create two files basically uh, i'm going to create admin login request and admin register request so i'm going to call new file and admin login request the php and um, i'm going to create second one here called admin register request the php and for our admin login request we are going to just copy what we have here within our user form request user login request form request and we are going to paste that in our admin login request right yep and we're going to change a couple of things first of all this is admin and we're going to use http response we need validator we need form request and um, our rules are pretty similar email and password email required um, email please enter a valid email password required password if it's less than eight characters your correct password must be eight characters and above and um, anything one or three four to two error without errors okay so for our admin register we are also going to copy this right now and get into our admin register request and paste that in here and we're going to change the name of this class to admin so admin register request extends form request and uh, we're not going to change anything here basically same things and save that and we're also going to save this and uh, user login request uh, we're going to go back to our admin controller 
So I'm going to close all those that have been saved and within our admin controller, we're going to import, okay, we've already done the admin register request, admin login request. I'm going to change them here to say admin register request. And this is going to be say admin login request. Um, so we are, I'm going to save this and I'm also going to save this. And for our models, we are going to do a couple of things in here, which we already did in our user model. And um, that is that is, it must um, implement JWT subject. So I'm not sure I did that here. I did not do that here. So we're going to get our JWT subject in here. And once I implement that, that would help us in our token. So I'm going to copy this and um, write in here. So it's implementing authenticable contract, authorizable contract, GWT subject. Once we implement that, I think that should do. Yep. So uh, we already have set our table. We have these fields and all that. So everything is looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start our server. And I'm going to say we have to move into this directory. So YouTube multi auth. Okay, let me see just about that. Okay, React Multi Auth YouTube. So we have to CD into React Multi Auth YouTube. Yep, and um, right in here, I'm going to run PHP Artisan Serve. And now that is on port 8000. And I'm going to just go to our web.php to be sure our admin. So register login uh, as a properly set. So now, what we are going to do is, um, first of all, we're going to go into Postman and uh, Post Request and um, going to go HTTP localhost 8000 uh, admin slash login. And just to be sure everything works fine, I'm going to send the request. And yep, we have an error here, 500 internal server error saying, what is it saying? Says user does not exist, app HTTP user not found. So we are going to go into admin controller and uh, app HTTP controllers, admin controller. Uh, this is supposed to be admin, not users. All right, so this is coming from, let me just scroll down a bit and uh, it's telling us within our admin controller on line 20. Okay, so that's what I just changed now. All right, so we are then going to click on send again. And yep, we have email field is required, password field is required. Okay, so now let's check out register. And uh, for register, we're going to click that. Name field is required, email field is required, password field is required. Now let's uh, head back there. And um, there's one more thing I want to be sure. Let's go to admin uh, register request. And we have unique here. So the email must be unique. All right, so that's pretty nice. Now let's get back in here. And uh, we're going to use our body for our body. Our body is going to be raw, just the raw data, raw JSON data. And I'm going to set this to JSON. And uh, I'm going to set a couple of parameters. So name, we're going to add a new user, Desmond. Uh, email, his email would be desmond101 at gmail.com. The next is, is his password. And I like to set my passwords as password for my video tutorial so I'm not going to change that today and uh, I think that's just about the fields that are required here or we could just check that in here within admin register request name email and password so now that we have these um, parameters passed uh, we can just click on send and uh, we have an error here and what is our error saying our error says base table of view not found so now let's go into uh Admin create user within our admin here, and uh, we have okay, create user does not exist. So I'm going to go into our user model here and uh, pretty much just copy this guy that that's a create and create user function because it's pretty much the same thing here. And I'm going to save that right now. So protected table is admin, and uh, let me go to my database and I'm going to close this guy here. Just close him. And uh, we are going to get this guy in, then tables and admin. All right. So now let's head back in there, click on send. And we still have the same error saying base table of view not found. multi db user doesn't exist. And now let's head back to here. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to admin register request and yep here we have the problem this unique user um, that we passed here basically checks the database to see if any user exists and there's no table called user 
so that's why he keeps crying and we have to set this to admin uh, admin is the name of the table and uh, we're also going to do the same thing to here for you we're going to set this to users because that's the name of the table so i'm going to save that and if i head back in here and i click on register yep we have success of true and the user registration completed successfully so if i head back here to our database and i'm going to go back to admin and refresh that oh sorry that was targeting user not admin that was targeting user sorry guys uh anyway uh, we could still create the same account for admin and uh, same account for admin so i'm gonna go admin uh yep and click send and yep success true registration completed successfully and uh, admin yep we have desmond and the mail is desmond uh, what's the mail desmond at gmail 11 at gmail.com and password as usual is password all right so we have successfully registered desmond and uh, the next we're going to check out is going to be our login route for admin and uh, if I try to register this month again, and I click on send, it's going to tell me this email address has already been taken. And that is because of this unique admin here. So it basically checks the database to see if this admin or this guy already exists. And if it is true, it sends our error message here saying this email already exists. Yep, we did. This email address has already been taken. And um, our 42 uh, HTTP response exception, which we customized here, that passes the errors, all the errors basically, and success as false. So that's what we are getting here. Our errors as a pair of objects, and each of them carrying an array in our success as false, and then we just append a generic message at the end of it. So now let's try and log in. So for login, we are going to change this data a bit. We're only going to need the email and the password. And if I click on send, yep, we have success of true. And it generates our JWT token, token type of Viera, and how long it's going to expire.